Hey guys, it's Dan here back with another video. In this one, I wanna do a little comparison between these two graphics cards that I've got. This, or one of them is a 3060 and a, the other is a 3060 Ti. Both EVGA, both two slots, two fans. So these are the little uh, form factor ones. Great for ITX builds. Uh, and we'll just talk about kind of my thoughts on these two cards and you know which one should you get. So I know the 3060 and the 3060 Ti came out a while back. Uh, I managed to snag a 3060 several months back and uh, the 3060 Ti was actually the one I wanted. Now, I was on the wait list for over a year and a half on EVGA's website. Finally though, uh, it was my turn to pick it up or to purchase one. So I went ahead and bought it. I'm planning on swapping the 3060 with the 3060 Ti in my mini ITX build. So that's kind of why I have these two cards. Physically on the outside, these two cards are virtually identical. In fact, the only way to tell the difference between these two cards is the label on the back with the product number. One of them is the 3663KL, while the other is 3657KR. Uh, KL is the light hash rate. Uh, KR, I'm not actually sure. This, uh, I think the 3060s are all light hash rate. So actually both of these are light hash rate now. Um, the original 3060Ti's were not, but basically if you buy a 3060Ti now, they're all gonna be LHR. Now on paper, the 3060Ti has over a thousand more CUDA cores than a regular 3060, which translates to be about 35% more CUDA cores. And lo and behold, the 3060Ti is approximately 30 or 35% faster than the 3060, which you'll see in the benchmarks later in this video. Uh, the other thing to talk about uh, is the memory capacity. And it's a little strange because the 3060 has 12 gigs of memory while the 3060 Ti, the faster one, has only eight gigs of memory. Don't be fooled by the larger memory capacity. More is not necessarily always better. In this situation, these cards are not powerful enough to really take advantage of eight gigs or even 12 gigs uh, for that matter. So you're not really gonna be pushing uh, such high resolutions where the memory is gonna be a major factor. The 12 gigs is really just for marketing and uh, you were pretty much, you can disregard the difference in memory capacity. If you're in the market for a 3060 or a 3060 Ti, most likely you're in the uh, resolution range of 2560 by 1440, which is perfect for this card. If you're gaming at 4K or even higher, uh, I would probably be looking for a card that's a little bit faster than this, but uh, even still on some of the older titles, the this card does admirably well. So I've got some benchmark numbers here and we can take a look at this. I ran Elden Ring at 4K and the 3060 pulled 32 FPS while the 3060 Ti pulled 42 FPS. So about 20 to 30% performance difference. If you were to drop it down to 1440p, you'll see the FPS jump to 50 to 60 FPS, which is great uh, if you have a normal 1440p monitor. Uh, for Final Fantasy XIV at 4K in a high population area, the difference you see is right around uh, 48 FPS versus 70 FPS. And at low population areas, it's at 4K, uh, 58 versus 72. So that's actually a pretty big difference in my experience. Uh, you know, 48 is a little bit on the lower end while 60, 70 FPS is more than playable, actually very smooth for um, you know the, this kind of gameplay. Uh, another example, World of Warcraft, at 4K, uh, I'm able to pull 45 FPS on the 3060, while the 3060 Ti is able to pull 60 or more FPS, getting that golden 60 uh, FPS point. Um, and, you know, if you're, again, playing at lower resolutions such as 1440, you're gonna be seeing 
70, 80, even over 100 FPS at times uh, on a game like that. Now, moving to a more intensive game, such as Control at 4K, you'll see something like 32 FPS on the 3060, while you'll get 40 FPS on the 3060 Ti. So another 25% difference in performance, pretty linear gain in terms of number of CUDA core improvements. Again, if you were to drop it down to 1440, you're gonna be looking at 60s FPS versus 80s FPS. Um, and even if you were to play in 4K, if you enable DLSS, it set the rendering to 1440p, which is you know, essentially a 1440p you know, output here, you're gonna be above that 60 FPS in that 60 to 80 range. So more than playable on these two cards. MSRP wise, the price between these two cards are actually pretty close. Uh, I think the 3060 goes for 429, while the 3060 Ti goes for 469 or 479, something like that. So uh, the 35 or 30% difference in CUDA cores uh, is, is, is a pretty big jump and not that big of a jump in price. So uh, if you can get your hands on a 3060 Ti at MSRP, that's probably the better deal between these two cards. Now, the last thing to think about is the sound or the noise or the heat output of these two cards. If you're looking for a quiet card uh, in this specific form factor, because again, these two cards are almost exactly the same with the exact same blower, or not blower, but the heat sink and uh, dual fan setup, uh, the 3060 has a TDP of 170 watts. Of course, you can always overclock up to 15% on top of that, but let's just talk about stock here. 170 watts while the 3060 Ti is 200 watts, so 30 additional watts. Um, in my testing, I did hear a audible difference between the two fans. And if memory serves me correct here, the 3060 Ti had an RPM of about 2300 RPM, while the uh, 3060 was right around 2000 or less. Um, everything exactly the same stock. So you're looking at about 300 additional RPMs, and it, indeed you can actually hear the difference. You can set up your own fan profiles. So if you say, I don't really need to have my card set at you know, 70 degrees Celsius or whatever it is, uh, it could be a little bit warmer. You can always turn down the fans and you know use your own custom curve. That's actually what I did. But if you're looking for something qu cool and quiet and, and you don't need the FPS, the 3060 is plenty fine. Uh, if you are actually planning on doing a little bit of gaming, the 3060 Ti is no slouch. So overall, you know that's just my impressions of these two cards here. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll maybe try to do some tests or answer some of your questions. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos on tech, go ahead and subscribe. My name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.